Good morning. How's it going? I hope this video adds to your day. Once again, there's not much rhyme or reason to this. This is just a document of my life and what's been going on in it. A while back, my friend Mario came to town just as a late spring snow storm came through. I experienced being in a hot tub while snowing for the first time. <laughs> I'm about to go in a hot tub. And it's 20 degrees. This is amazing! I needed someone to come in and destroy my life. Girl, I'm here. Every time you want me to destroy your life. Like, come and wreck my shit. It was a great couple days, a uh, bit of alcohol <laughs> to add to it. <laughs> Cheers. Make an art flip film with me. Since things are opening back up here in Denver, we also went to an arcade bar called One Up, finally. That was cool. I've been wanting to check that out for a while. As my friend's visit came to an end, I started working on the two commissions that I had. Both of them I started as a Seattle type, which is a two-part chemical process to develop photos basically, or just light sensitive, it's a light sensitive chemical reaction. So it's the same thing as exposing something in the dark room, it's just you're outside and your light source is the sun. So it does take a little bit longer, but usually around 20 minutes to get a nice exposure. Um, cyanotype is also blue, which is another reason why I chose this process abstract kind of thing um, that's got like space and like underwater vibes so I'm trying to create some Exposures, highlights, shadows, some underwater creatures. This one's gonna be really abstract, so even if this comes out kind of funky, I can work with it and cover it up. One of the larger one is going to have blues in it, and the smaller one I'm doing a three color pass with red, yellow, and blue to make all of my colors come out. And since the cyanotype is blue already, the cyanotype is going to be my blue layer. So right now I'm taking some liquid, la liquid latex 
And I've got some spots in the sky that are gonna be stars. And then down here, I'm just kind of stempling. Some stuff to kind of represent maybe like um like ocean splashes kind of like waves crashing against rocks or something for both of them i mainly use watercolors the larger one is watercolors and acrylic gouache while the smaller one is just a three color pass with watercolor I'm very ecstatic about how both of them turned out. Oh, an update. I started working on another cabinet and I tested out my paint marker. One of the things I was looking into was airbrush medium because that was suggested to me. So I found quickly online that people used rubbing alcohol as a substitute for airbrush medium. So I started looking up if there was any issues between rubbing alcohol and polyacrylic top coat. I didn't find anything necessarily in like art painting community stuff, but I did find a bunch on like carpentry forum pages and stuff where people are top coating wood. And a lot of people, there were posts about like someone would wipe down their table with rubbing alcohol in between polyacrylic coats causing fogging like all this other stuff and there was just like a couple red flags with like rubbing alcohol not reacting well with the polyacrylic as it was drying and i'm like mm, again maybe something like that is part of that chemical process that's reacting with it so i just stuck to watering down some acrylic paint with some water and that's it it's in my paint marker is just acrylic paint and water i put a little bit of white in there as well just to try to retain some of that opacity and it worked i definitely had to go over it a couple times because it was a bit translucent but it flowed through the tip and it did not bleed when i put the top coat on it Check it out. First layer of top coat, polycrylic. What? 
Oh my God. We're doing great. I mean, that's, that's my fault, but <laughs> doing great, doing great. That's it for me. I'm off on an adventure that I cannot wait to share with you guys. Have a great week. Talk soon. Bye.